79,000 XT. It's XT. What? Okay. No XTX. <laughs> oh, that was a good start. I didn't know. I didn't know they were going to send me the XT, but um, let's find out anyway. This 7,900 XT, let's see how it performs and what sort of bottleneck it gets with an old CPU. And we're going to be comparing it to a, you know, a 4090, just bottleneck wise, not so much the FPS, although you can see that as well. But um, yeah. Let's see how this 7900 XT goes. And I've got to say here, what you can see here, old CPU. This is an old system. It's actually going to be decommissioned old system. So, yeah. But I thought someone asked me in the question with an old CPU, should I get, you know, spend all my money on a new GPU or should I get a new system with a lesser GPU? Well, I think you're better off spending money on the GPU. But let's see how much bottleneck this gets, the 7900 XT. And let's see how it performs with this CPU. So this is a 9600K, so six cores, no hyper-threading, ninth gen Intel CPU i5. It has an RTX 4090 in it now. Of course, we're gonna put this 7900 XT in there. It has crucial DDR4, 4000 megahertz, and that's at CL18. And it has a crucial P3 SSD, which is a really good SSD. I have a, you know, a video on that, so you might want to check out that, that crucial SSD. Good price, bang for buck, especially in the system of this sort of age. So let's look at the bottleneck of the 4090 and then compare it to this 7900 XT. So this is Modern Warfare 2, of course, or Warzone. And you saw before at 4K, with this CPU and the 4090, it was a bottleneck of 4% on the CPU. And now we're running at 1440p. Hopefully this uh, benchmark does not crash. And again, 9600K part. So ninth generation Intel, pretty much stock. It's run at 4.7. It usually, it's supposed to run at 4.6. I can hear some fans there. That's definitely the GPU. You can see, look at the CPU usage. It's jumped up 10% maybe 20% and the GPU usage has gone down from 99% all the way down to 80% here. So you can see what's happening now. You're using more of the CPU, less of the GPU. So there's gonna be a quite a substantial bottleneck. And there's two reasons. Obviously the lower resolution, you get more CPU bottleneck, but also this is an older CPU. So expect on the new, you know, the newest Intel and uh, AMD, you know, CPUs the bottleneck's going to be nothing like this actual fact the bottleneck at 1440p with a 13900k is one percent at 1440p one percent keep that in mind one percent so same settings with this guess what look 84 percent bottleneck compared to one percent if you've got a new cpu so it does say 160 whatever frames. I can't even see that. What does it say? That does say there 167 frames per second, 118 frames per second low, and 106 frames per second low first, and low fifths of 118. Now, of course, 86% bottleneck on a CPU, 16 on the GPU. Keep this in mind when we put the 7900 XT in. So it shows you going from a ninth generation to a 13th generation, you've got like 83% difference on the CPU bottleneck. Now let's put in the AMD and see how it goes. All right, so now I have the AMD 7900 XT in here with this old CPU, as you know, the 9600K. And we're going to test it at 1440 first because it's already set to that, so we might as well do that. Now, of course, I mean, the science difference between the 7900 XT and the 4090, and this is like one of the best 4090s. This is the ASUS Tough version. So it's one of the top RTX 4090 graphics cards, but the size is, wow, the size difference is just insane. Of course, now the 7900 XTX is a little bit bigger, but these are reference cards and it's all running stock. I don't have any loyalties to any company. I don't really care. And realistically, if I can't tell the difference, why not, you know, stay with the cheaper card, right? So let's do this benchmark. Now you may say using the NVIDIA 16 pin, you know, adapter there. Am I worried about my house burning down? Well, not really. I like that it's clean with the single cable in my system. You can have an 8 pin and it can burn down, I guess. I mean, you have to have a faulty cable with the, you know, NVIDIA. You have to have some sort of user error. So whatever, just keep an eye on your cables. Make sure everything's safe there. I missed that. I didn't see that hole until it came out and it was burnt. So 
Let's run this benchmark at 1440p. This is the 7900 XT, and hopefully I'll have the XTX very soon, but doing a nice 143 frames per second. Now, that's pretty good. Got to say, that's very impressive straight off the deck there. Uh, with the um, uh, NVIDIA system, we're looking at, what are we looking at there? Uh, 100, it's not that much difference. I think it's like... 167 it comes out to, 167 frames per second. And you can see this is 167, it might do it. It may do it. Now we've got to look at the bottleneck. That's that's the main thing we're worried about here is, you know, is there a difference between these NVIDIA and AMDs for bottleneck, CPU bottleneck, and it was 84% bottleneck on the CPU when I've done this benchmark. But um, same exact settings, 1440p. We're looking at 167 frames per second. What are we going to get with this AMD? Okay, with this old CPU. Remember, it's going to be completely different with a... What the hell? It's going to be completely different if you have a new CPU, right? These are results with an old CPU. New CPU, there may be a bigger difference, but look at that. This is amazing. One frame per second slower than an RTX 4090. Yes, I repeat, one frame per second slower. And guess what? The lows are better too. The lows are 120 on the low fifth, and they're 118 on the RTX 4090. But with the low first on the RTX 4090, it was 106 frames per second. It's 91 frames per second on this. So the low first, a little bit better on the 4090, but the frames per second, pretty much exactly the same. Exactly the same at 1440p. So here's the thing, right? You got an old CPU, right? What are you going to buy a 4090 for if you're gaming at 1440p and you're playing this game Warzone? Why? Why? What's the point? No point getting a 4090. This is a six, sorry, I was going to say 6,800. This is a 7,900 XT, not XTX, XT. So 1440p, save your money, just get this. Instead of getting a 4090, forget about it. Especially got old CPU. New CPU, different results. There will be different results. I'll have to test that out. But yeah, let's do 4K. So 4K, what are we expecting here? So this is 4K with the 7,900 XT, not XTX. And with that same CPU, of course, running at a stock speed, the ninth generation 9600, no hyper threading i5. And we're expecting here 126 frames per second with at 1440. I mean, sorry, 4K, 4K. All right, so 4K extreme settings, 126 frames per second you get on the 4090, and it has a 4% CPU bottleneck, okay? 4%. So keep those figures in mind. We'll get to the lows in a minute. But 126 frames, you can see here, it's not going to get the same amount of frames. I can see it's not going to get 126. I wouldn't expect that. It's a 7900 XT, not XTX. But it, it blew me away at 1440p. 4090, absolutely a waste of time with this game. Warzone or Call of Duty, just forget about it. Just stick with a XT, normal 7900 XT. Why would you even spend any more? And let's see what we're getting here. We 101 frames per second versus 126. Uh, 24% faster. Now, I would expect the, you know, the 7900 XTX to be 24% slower. But this one here, you know, a 49 is only 26% faster. Now, CPU bottleneck, 1%. On the 4090, it was 4%. Now let's go to the lows. The lows fifth, 87 frames per second. So better on the 4090, you get in the low fifths here of 73 frames with the 7900 XT. And the low first, we're getting 47 frames. And with the 4090, we're getting 71. So the lows are much better on the 4090, but only 24% faster for the, you know, uh, average frame rate and a lot less bottleneck with the AMD. So in both cases, the bottleneck was lower on the AMD. A 1440, forget about a 4090 with this particular game in the, with this particular CPU, you get it in this scenario. Now, if you got a new CPU, it's going to be completely different. There are many tests out there with the new, newest and the latest CPUs, but old CPU, 
man, this is a good play. I guess you got to factor in the other cards, right? Six thousand nine hundred, you know, six nine fifty or a, a thirty eighty Ti or something like that. How much difference is there going to be with that as well? So, I got to say, forty ninety waste in this scenario. So anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.